Good morning, Saints. I am Mrs. CEO Dana Neal, your host this morning of the five minute message. Um, this is a challenging day for me because um, I had some situations yesterday that had me basically um, teetering the line, kind of falling off my, my mark. And today's um, message is basically calling it getting it right. I was directed to a um, scripture this morning in Proverbs and it really kind of bothered me because I don't know if it's for me or if it's for someone else. I don't know if I'm being, if I'm leading people down the wrong path or if someone is leading me. So please pray my strength in the Lord because I am um, concerned. I am concerned. I will share that scripture with you on tomorrow. So today, just just want to let you know to get it right. What exactly does that mean? You know, we in our lives have to know that we can encourage others or we can tear them down. We can build them up or we can knock them out. And one thing that we have to do according to the word of God is encourage them. We don't want to tear them down. We don't want to knock them out, you know, unless we're um, knocking them out with the truth of the word. And I say that because we have to be prepared for any of the enemy's tactics. So how do you get it right? Well, basically you need to be in your word consistently. And I mean every day. If you're in your prayer time, you know, read your word because there's something in there that's gonna back up what the Holy Spirit said. Excuse me. Also, you need to have a prayer time. You know, we talked a couple weeks ago about getting up in the morning and letting God be your first conversation, um, person you have conversation with, with your day and it helps you get direction on your day. I know sometimes I end up having a conversation all day. I never stop, I never say amen in my prayers and that's because I know that um, I need help and I need direction all day. The Bible does say pray without ceasing. The other thing with getting it right, you have to um, test the spirits. I don't have that scripture with me right now. I know it's in New Testament, but you do have to test the spirits that are probably testing you. You have to know who they are and where they come from. Um, that is a lesson to be learned every day. That is not something that will happen overnight. That is not something that will um, take you into your day and you have on the full armor of God to understand to fight. So you need to um, have a discerning spirit. Understand that, you know, things were going to come at you and you have to be quick to shut up more so than quick to answer at times. And um, I encourage you on today because I'm encouraging myself. You have to get it right. And in order for me to get it right, there are some things that I have to go to and go through. But I also have to know how to, like I said, um, test spirits, have a discerning spirit, prayer time, um, and always being in my word. Um, a few weeks ago, when we first started this five-minute broadcast, I suggested to you that you read Proverbs every day and that you um, read the Proverbs according to the date that you're in. So today is Pro uh, seven, <laughs> uh, April 7th. I want to encourage you to um, read the Proverbs for today. Get some wisdom and enlightenment today. Uh, try reading a psalm today and um, you know get some direction for where you're supposed to go and who you're supposed to help. And maybe you just need to be quiet and just listen, even if you're working, um, your business, you're doing some networking, you're at your job, you um, may need to just be quiet and hear what God has to say um, regarding your life on today. I say, you know, usually Wednesdays, it's commonly referred to as hump day, but I usually say Wednesday can be a imbalance of your week depending on what should happen towards the end of the week and what should happen later or, or what should happen now. You know, I am, again, having some challenges on today because of some things that I had to go through yesterday. But God gave me today to do differently. Now, the scripture that I was referring to that I got this morning that I'm still trying to meditate on, you know, it could be a, a directional for what happened to me yesterday and that I have to know what and who this person person is or who these persons out 
are. The spirits within are very challenging if you don't know what you're coming up against. But, um, you know, I love the Lord and I, I love him for giving me the opportunity to do what I need to do and still come in here and humbly say, you know what, maybe I've been wrong. But when I'm wrong, the Holy Spirit chastises me and let me know. So I will um, elaborate more on that scripture on tomorrow as I get some insight about it today. I encourage you to have your Bibles with you today and um, to just challenge you to get it right and help others to get it right. Have a wonderful day.